Turning now to your community focus, it's the holiday season, which often means a lot of sweet treats and an abundance of food. Here with some tips about healthy eating this holiday season, Dr. Carla Martin, consulting physician for the Department of Health. Thanks so much for being here. Thank you. So I want to start with this. Lots of us like to indulge around the holidays, myself included. Is the advice of everything in moderation good advice? That's actually very good advice. Over the holidays, we all tend to gain one to two pounds. Uh -huh. We tend to drink more alcohol, mm. have more sugary, sweet you know, treats and beverages, um, and tend to move less. Uh -huh. So um, it is really important to go into your holiday gatherings with some mindfulness. Mm. Um, think about uh, controlling your portions, pacing yourself. Um, it often takes 10 to 20 minutes for your brain to know that it's full. So while you're at your gatherings, just really pace yourself um, between your first and second helping, <laughs> um, as well with alcohol. Mm. It's really important to pace yourself with alcohol. You know, consider maybe in between your drinks, having some water or some seltzer. Um, all of these things could, could improve your outcomes over the holidays to make you be a little bit healthier. Yeah, is there anything that we should be outright avoiding other than, of course, things that we know we're allergic to? Any foods or beverages that you, you say, mm, avoid that? <clears throat> Well, um, in general, uh, anything with sugary beverages yeah. are really good to try to avoid. Um, unfortunately, the stuff on the charcuterie board tends to be very high in saturated fat, you know, processed meat, high in salt. But I would say, you know, the holidays are only once a year. Yeah. So try to enjoy, the, pick a couple of things that you really enjoy that you might only get over the holidays. Um, you know, of course, you don't have to eat every single thing on the buffet table. <laughs> Maybe be a little bit mindful of having more vegetables and things more rich in fiber. Yeah, some variety is always good. Variety is good, definitely. <laughs> so I'm curious about this, the timing of the holiday meal. Does it matter whether we sit down for our big holiday feast at 3 o'clock or 8 o'clock? Does that have an effect on how we metabolize that food? Well, that's a good question. Um, it is uh, to have a larger meal earlier in the day would help you definitely metabolize and also help you move, like maybe yeah. take a walk after your meal. You can't always control that. You can, however, control your portions at the holiday meal, whatever time it is. Uh, sometimes getting a smaller plate will help you eat a little bit less. Um, like I said earlier, more vegetables and more fiber and lean cuts of meat, um, lean cuts of protein will help as well. Um, the but, smaller plate, we eat with our eyes first, of exactly, course. Now, exactly. any other tips for how we can make this a, a healthier holiday season as we approach these winter holidays? Um, definitely, uh, move more. Most of us tend to move less, so definitely more walks, more exercise. Um, when you're having gatherings, consider maybe putting away the screens. When we're on screens, we tend to, again, we tend to move less. Uh, pacing your alcohol as well. Definitely don't drink and drive, so have a plan for getting home, yeah. whether it's a ride share or a designated driver. Um, I mean, those are kind of you know key things to keep in mind. Mm. Um, also, remember that a lot of viruses circulate at these parties, so getting your flu and COVID vaccines if you're over 60, uh, getting your RSV vaccine, if you're a parent with uh, a young child, mm -hmm. please consider the RSV vaccine as well. We want everyone to be happy and healthy this holiday season. Exactly. All right, Dr. Carla Martin, thanks so much for those Thank tips you. and thanks for being here at work. Thank you.